Go ahead, ask the question. So there are two problems. This was down, mm -hmm. we and did that this was also contracted up, and correct. this was down. So you have to correct both of them. Yes, I have to correct both of them. Uh, this is going to be the face up. I'm going to ask the dentist flip face up, not right now. And I'm going to work on those hip flexors and try to pull, pull, pull this hip down. Also to relax this uh, QL muscle, what I usually do, I'm just going to show you. I'm really not a big fan of the elbow, but if this is bigger person, and especially for the ladies, because uh, what I'm do, I found that spine, I found the uh, laminum groove, and I just go away probably like maybe two inches. Make sure you're not pushing on that uh, kidney because it's kidney right here. And what do you do? You gently find that spot first, and I'm apply not the elbow. I'm apply kind of my forearm right here. And what I'm do, you see, I don't apply any lotion. I want to just find a spot and ask the uh, dentist to breathe really deep. And every breath, I don't push it, but when he's exhale, I'm apply a little bit pressure out, out. So I'm pulling out. I'm not pulling in. He's uh, he have a little bit. You can see a little bit curve up here. In this case, I'm pulling out. If he's got flat back, I'm pushing in. I create that arc. Okay, and if you have any pain, let me know. Always come, yeah, you feel it. Okay. Mm. Yeah, he pointing right on that side joint, so he might be having inflammation up there. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna work on that. Good, keep breathing. And I hold it around like seven, eight minutes. That's it, this is what I'm do. I'm not rush myself. Mm. Mm -hmm. We just can see how we can change this. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I don't apply any oil. Now what I'm going to ask Dennis, I'm going to reactivate those hip flexors and um, the hips. Also, the lower muscle, lower back muscle. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to ask Dennis to do right now, I'm going to show him first. I'm going to ask him to tilt the hips forward and backward. It's not going to be a lot of motions up there. Some people don't do it at all, like they can't do it, So, but I'm helping them out, so I'm just guiding. So you're gonna push forward, Dennis, mm -hmm. and backward towards the ceiling. Here we go. He's doing really actually good. So now, relax, relax, and I find that spot again, apply, and now I ask him to do that. Uh huh. And always ask feedback from your customers. How's it feel, Dennis? Do you feel it? Tilt it, tilt it. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So move your hips like we did. Yes, backward and forward. Uh -huh. Yeah, right there. I feel it when he's moving in, mm -hmm. like tilted forward towards the table, it's a lot of contraction and he's QL. How's mm -hmm. it feel, Dennis? Is that painful? Yeah, Okay, I'm, I push too much. It's not supposed to be painful at all, so I'm slayed up. Is that better? Yes. Good. So always ask feedback. If pain presence, don't harm your clients. I have to be pain free. Remember, most people they feel pain. They think it's a beneficial, but it's not. Uh huh. Really easy. And let it go. Perfect. Okay. Next one. What I can do? I can open more space. I'm placed usually on ilium and a rib cage. And customer's gonna breathe. Dennis, I'm gonna ask you to breathe. And you just, all you do is create a control force and spread this area out. You see, I don't have any oil on me. I'm holding. You work in this fascia? Say it again? Are you working with fascia? Fascia, yeah. It's it's also fascia work, of course. Okay. Uh, are we going to explain what the fascia is? You can't stop it. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and now, what <laughs> what we can do, we can just see if we change anything. And look at this. It's already changed. It's already leveled. Not even work with the hip flexors. You see? Right in here. So you change. 
He's mentioned he have a pain right here. This is the most uh, common pain. It's a SI joint pain. Mm -hmm. I usually uh, like to do uh, exercise with my customer, uh, bridges, uh, squeezing bowls, open the open the legs like a clamps. But what I do sometimes I do a little. It's called Texas Twister. So I'm just twist. Sometimes it's open. Those SI joints open. That's what the people. What people do, they start to pick up pick up object from the floor and they bend it and there's SI joints, so I'm just gonna show you. It's moving up here and it's pain. Sometimes they lock, lock properly and it's caused a lot of pain. And of course inflammation too. So this is good for that. Yeah, for lock it in just gently. If if any pain, if you do light, light push and person experience pain, stop doing it. It's maybe a lot of problems up there. Refer to the doctor, uh, do x-ray, MRI, and just, yeah. Does that feel good, Dennis? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel good for Dennis, so I'm doing it. And it's like only 15 pounds pressure. I'm not pushing hard. I'm not a chiropractor. But... Really good. Good. And what I want to do next, I want to activate his glutes. So you can guys check how everything works together. Uh, you can place your hands on the glute and just ask, can you squeeze the glutes? Squeeze your glutes, Dennis. Mm -hmm. You see, I feel its weakness on this glute. Can you squeeze on this one? Squeeze, squeeze, just a squeeze. Sajmi buki. Yeah. And this one? <laughs> Here we go. So I feel it. This one, it's go a little bit misfire. So what's happening? It's misfire. You think your muscle is it's okay, the, the, the glutes is strong, but this one is misfire. It's like you're driving your car and one of the head, one of your uh, cylinder is not working properly. And the car, whole car is going to be like, you know, struggling to drive. So that's why you need to reactivate. And we already been talking about this. This is called muscle spindle. You place your knuckles right on that glute muscle gently. And what do you do? You just reactivate it. Sometimes you see those uh, people standing in the park and they beat themselves on the glutes, on the legs. This is they, they reactivate the muscles before they do any sport activity. You can see this redness on our work. And this is how you do it. Now squeeze again, squeeze your glutes. Here we go. It's going a little bit quicker, a little bit quicker. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Relax. So he's doing, yeah, it's actually good. It's always good to squeeze something between your legs, reactivate your glutes. And this is the little secret up here. When your glutes are stronger, you're never going to experience your lower back pain. The mm -hmm. stronger glutes, you're going to be good. The weak glutes, it's always a problem for your lower back. And look at this kyphose up here, right? Mm -hmm. This is the next topic. Yeah.